Good evening, everyone. Ow. How's everyone doing tonight? Hope everyone is doing well and is ready to get back into some Borderlands 2. Tonight we will be starting the Assault on Dragon's Keep, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon's Keep. So we are set to launch or load into the Unassuming Docks for the first time. So let's do it. Potentially little importance. Once upon a time, the Vault Hunters played a game. The world is on the brink of going boom boom. This is our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand here and now, we're gonna die. Now. Roll for initiative! What's initiative? It says which order we attack in. I punched the initiative. What's going on? I wasn't paying attention. Tina, why don't you start over? Ahem. <clears throat> Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of the most coolest game in the world, Bunkers and Badasses! As your Bunker Master, I will be spinning today's tale of fantasy and... Wait, why the hell are we playing this kid's game? Oh, you know, maybe because... Shut the hell up, Morty! Tina? She's right, though. Shut up. While our vault hunting buddies beat the slam jam out of that Hyperion informant downstairs, I thought we could play a game. Now, pick your characters. You got the Mechromancer, the Commando, the Siren. Siren. Dibs. My Siren's name is Brick, and she is the prettiest. Tina, why don't we just start now and figure that out later? Come on, girl. You know we gotta wait for Roland before we start. Tina, Roland's... You know Roland's not coming, right? He's not here anymore. Probably running late or something. We'll just start now. So, like I said, roll for initiative, suckers! Damn. You arrive at the docks of Flame Rock Refuge. This place used to be really nice until the handsome sorcerer messed everything up. I say we head toward the town to investigate. All right, let's play some bunkers and badasses. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn the music on, but I'm going to Put it at a lower level than usual because there is going to be a lot more story involved in this i think just so there's a little bit of noise in the background Lovely day in Flame Rock Refuge, a far cry from- Wait, didn't you just say the sorcerer messed up the town? Why would things be lovely? Uh, whoops. Uh, what I meant to say is, it's eternal night, and you hear spooky music, and the whole area kind of smells like butts and dead people. <sighs> kind of smells like butts and dead people. Who's Dungeon Master here? Well, if or Tina. Ooh, Iridium. Always take that. Suddenly you're attacked by a horde of skellymans. They start shooting at you. Ooh. This is a horde? Crap. 
You can actually hear like the babies bouncing off the metal armor. That's pretty cool. Assault rifle. Yeah, let's see what our assault rifle does. Ow. Ow. I was looking at it upside down. I was like, that's a weird looking head. Where'd that boat come from? Where'd you come from? Is that how enemies are going to just... Is that how enemies are going to spawn? Just come out of nowhere? Because how, that's how Tina's telling the tale, I guess? You get close to the entrance to Flame Rock Refuge, but suddenly... It's a dragon. The handsome sorcerer's pet dragon appears! Surprise attack! Ho oh, ho, I want to smack it. You try to attack smack the dragon, but your attacks do nothing. What? The dragon attacks and what? Hit! What? Great. Are we done now? Tina, uh, you can't start your campaign with a boss fight. Players can't win. Hmm. Touche. Okay, everybody, back up. I wanted to kill something. Okay, how about a new boss? He's a skeleton. And his name is... Mr. Bony Pants Guy? I am Mr. Bony Pants Guy! Yeah! Does that work? This pleases me. He's got some speed. All right, the road to Flame Rock Refuge is open. You should go there. Go, go, go. I know we'd probably be really good about uh, against these skeletons. Some explosive damage. Maybe. We'll see. I'm sure we'll find something. Hamlet of the passing through. <laughs> oh. No. Okay. I 
forgot what our gun did. I was shooting it like it was a single shot. That's not what this is. Kind of throwing the iridium at us at the moment, though. Is that a kamikaze? Is that an explosion? I didn't see where it came from. Going in the water. Sad. It may not matter. We might be stuck. No, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. I got it. Dang it. Where are you? Rock golem. was going to be more difficult than that. I guess my shotgun's the answer for them for now. I just... Track. I'm wondering if Tina is going to tell us to turn the fuck around. <laughs> Unreality Universe Shoreline? just crawling with skeletons.
There's a gun chest up here. I'm not walking away just yet. <laughs> Turning around. Going to do a checkpoint. My luck will go over there and kill a bunch of people and then that'll be our next point of interest. Let's go back to just passing through. Where we didn't even pass through. It's not gonna let me scale it, is it? Well, it might. steps no point in trying to force it So I want to go and try and climb those rocks and then find they're unscalable.
That's twice. We barely made it into this map. And that's twice that we've nearly left the boundary of it. But the map doesn't indicate that that's what's going to happen. I mean, it looks like we should be able to go over there. He got some swing. Did I kill one and then another one spawned? I think that's what's happening. I know I saw a chest. Now this is where I would think it'd start telling me we're off map. That is not what's happening. made that noise is that you are you gonna get up again yes okay oh and you're quick to remove the sword. Okay. We're learning. Yeah. 
another gun chest. What the hell are you? Oh, dice. Did it? Did we roll dice for the other ones? Did I miss that we rolled dice for the other ones? I didn't see dice roll for that. So was that other one a special chest? Get to get back to Tiny Tina's game. Let her control the narrative. through yeah it was so swift we didn't even pass through Archer ones do some damage. That's our destination. Swing his mace, get behind him.
two of three already. That's where we came from. Okay. Okay. Just want to make sure we weren't missing anything. I don't think we were. Or are. The other bolt symbol is probably that other way, which if this doesn't send us back that way, we will go back that way anyway. Gonna send us back. We really are just passing through here. Um. Well, our inventory's full, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass through, in the hopes that there are vending machines on the other side. so we can empty our inventory. Enter the town of Flame Rock Refuge. In the distance, you see the town's scouting blimps, always alert in case of battles and stuff. What you gonna do now? Stop playing this game. Let's talk to some town folk. A grand idea. Why is Mordecai being even such a dick about this? Shouldn't even sat down if he didn't want to play. Lame rock. Goodbye. Magic's no match for a well aimed bullet. The night is long and full of treasures. Oh, I should see ya before we sell stuff. We should. What is in my head? We should see if anything's better. Good God. Worse fire rate, way worse reload speed. Fire rate. Wow. Didn't expect so.
Okay. When depleted melee attacks deal bonus. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, we got one upgrade. We're gonna magic, magic. Nothing clean our bag like out. Gun at your side. Farewell. You need healing badly. Storm in the tower. Can I interest you in some magic bullets? I shall see you soon. All right, I am going back. So if I don't do it and the game doesn't tell us to do it, I won't do it. So, I, I guess I should have paid attention to what our task actually said it was. And then we wouldn't have had to backtrack. gonna take well let's start that real quick i'm gonna swap this with our sniper for now because i don't think fire damage is gonna do us any good There's even that cave there to look for. Going there first? Yeah. Lucky that my cursor went over him. I was about to throw a grenade at him. <laughs> Not that it really matters to him, but still. It's a spatula? Oh, that's not just a one-time thing. What the? What the? What the hell are we about to learn? Spatula con. I overlooked the spatula the first time I went over him and just read the con. Welcome. I am the greatest spatula con. Destroyer of men 
and the pizza of a taste bud. I was greatest chef on Pandora until the weenie emperor rose to power. All right, see. Do you follow the way of the greatest spatula? Has your appalling experience the genocidal bliss of my culinary warfare? If you are afraid to eat something, don't eat it. If you are eating something, don't be afraid. I am the punishment of the food gods. If your taste buds had not committed great sins, the gods would not have sent a chef like me upon you. You may have heard of me. I am a he who brought the armies of Tantalus to their knees with a but a single souffle. I have defeated the demons by pleasing their palates with the power of a thousand of Flaminiots. I am the creator of the legendary Amerga Sandwich. Hi, I'm a, a spatula con. The weenie emperor usurped my throne with his army of brown mustard and deceit. His confectionery cuckoldry was a lie delivered upon the ignorant denizens of a Pandora. For while they believed that his gourmet hot dogs were made of a skag meat and ambrosia, they were, in truth, composed entirely of a dead skin and the toenail clippings, the fiend! Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, how many more lines do we have? Oh. Look, I know hot dogs aren't made from the best things but skin and toenails oh is that you screaming Temple of the Unwarranted Self-Importance. Oh god. This is gonna be something about Jack, isn't it? Or is Tina gonna throw us a loop and it'd be something completely different? <sighs> Unmotivational Gollum? That's you, right? It's a lot of stuff. What is going on? Does that golem just not want to pull itself back together? Yes, let's find out.
No? Okay. No? Okay, I don't know what else to do. Riddle skeleton? Oh. What the? See? I'm gonna blame that on I couldn't see. Oh, here's another roll of the dice one. about to get the barrier warning again. <laughs> Unmotivational golem. Something later? Seems odd. An odd detail to add if they weren't going to do anything with it. money over there? No, I don't think so. I was expecting a little bit more. And this fire doesn't actually hurt me.
We met the spatula con. And we found a unmotivational unmotivated? An unmotivated golem. Archers do damage. Hi, friend. Guess we're free to move on now. Well, looks like there's a house up there. know how the heck you're supposed to get up there A big old house up there. All right, let's go talk to some townsfolk. Dragon thingy yet? It's awesome! The Queen hath gone missing! Maybe her bodyguard Eleanor knows where she went. If the Queen doesn't return, we shall never see the sun again! Sounds like we should go find this Eleanor. Be wary. The forest is full of horrors. You must save us from the sorcerer. I must do nothing 
Uh, the bodyguard isn't here. Oh, whoops. Forgot to put her piece on the board. Blam! Girl, looks uh, like she got a problem. Ellie! I punch her problems. I talk to her. In character, of course. <clears throat> Hello, madam. Is something the matter? The queen is missing! She went into the forest to bring the light back to the world! So where'd she go? She said something about using the tree alive to undo the curse. That must be where she's going. And so your purpose became clear. You gotta go to the forest and help the queen. Yay, to the forest. Got nothing right now, but you'll be the first to know once to do. You know, I might have done that head. I might do that head if there is armor to go with it. Stand there and bleed. Oh, God. The fact that that actually looks a little different from everything else just. Makes it a high contender. We looked at those already. That's pretty red. I'm gonna go Red Rover. See if we can't find us a queen. Did you see that dragon thingy yet? It's awesome. It's awesome. Huzzah! Huzzah! Pumpkins. Wow. 
I guess pumpkin. Oh, there's another one. Who are you? Sir Reginald Von Barlesby. That's Tina's make believe friend, isn't it? jar for her head. I thought maybe I could shoot it. I don't know about those, but this one looks like skin. away see pumpkins we shoot them Set myself. Shooting out of town, uh, a villager, townsfolk. Saw somebody <sighs> moving. I was like, ah, it's got to be a skeleton. And you just sat there. Have you faced the handsome sorcerer yet? This is how Tina's coping with The Queen is counting on you. I don't know how she didn't even know I was coming. of this <laughs> but it push people to their death so why'd they have to build this out Seven. Well, that's going to be needed later. Yeah, 
get stuck on the stairs again. Oh, this one doesn't have a valve. Well, I guess that one didn't have a valve either there. It just had a valve wheel. I accept only Seraph Crystals. Go kill a Seraph Guardian, O oh Vault Hunter, and then we will talk. Oh. <sighs> there was that, um... Watch out for those knights. They think the sorcerer is a god. <sighs> I think it was on... Sir Hammerlock's hunt. We found that one guy who would only talk to us if we'd killed a certain creature. And then we never went back to him. Fine, don't talk to me then. Thought I'd look for the pumpkins for a second. We only have two more to get. And explore town a little bit. Mattress. Going down. How are you? Grass spider? Black Widow Spider, I think is what that one said it was. Which is unimaginative. Come on, Spiderlings. Doesn't help if you shoot the ground between the legs. indicated on the map here Which I don't think is a path
Anyone else? There's not really a bath there. This village is very poorly constructed. Like, no pattern to it, nothing. Dude. Not just dude, dudes. He's got a dude sitting in his lap. There was about to be a third one joining them. Dr. Zed. I 
Nothing around this side though, right? Maybe not? Yeah, we were around this side. Why did this bit of map not load in? Just tucked away in every corner. Closed for your safety. Because it closed doesn't mean you have to break the bridge. find the missing pumpkins. There's... A chest up there, but... Yes, the queen went into the forest. It's too dangerous to go alone. I shall accompany you. Just one second, and... Whoop, time out. I gotta take this. This Tina. It's Mr. Torque! Tina, put me in the game! Okay, the gatekeeper is now Mr. Torque. Woo! Well, I had to see you. Wow! So I'm a gatekeeper, huh? In that case... You gotta prove your bad attitude to get past me. First task, blow up the village of scouting blimps with the fire weapon. Because reasons! Blow up the vill- What? Why? The blimps are too far away to destroy with gunfire. It's like a puzzle! <sighs> Yes, yes it is, Tor.
That was very poorly thought out then. One more. Unboxing in it. They're gonna make us have a bar fight. Man, I thought we'd already covered every inch of this town. Guess not. One up there too. Sees Grog and Grill. Oh no, that's his girls. And I just thought a mushroom was a pumpkin. The bar owner has a problem. Talk to her. Hey, baby, I'm hung like a vault monster. So it's hard to find an ultimately disappointing? That's what she said. <laughs> Your mom. <laughs> Moxie, I'm surprised you're not bright orange because that body is legendary. <laughs> Whatever happens, stay out of the sorcerer's dungeon. Nah. <laughs> hey, baby. I'm hung like a vault monster. That's what she said. <laughs> Blue explosion. Oh. Dang. I thought that was going to be a lot more, but that was only 700. Hey, adventurer. It's closing time, but these idiots can't take a hint. Could you throw them out for me? Don't be afraid to get rough. Like how rough? Oh, punch! Mozzie, I'm surprised you're not bright orange because that body uh, is. Thanks, sugar. Oh, oh, come on, all right. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll never see nothing douchey again. I promise. Bitch! That is unacceptable. Chase him uh, down. Watch him so hard he explodes.
calling Moxie a bitch was unacceptable? guy I could just shoot him but it clearly says punch Chasing him. Nerd! You're a nerd! Get him! Punch him! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tia, this makes no sense. Torg is ruining your campaign. I'm having fun. Well done. You're now badass enough to survive the forest. Tina's still on the phone? No. Short called her. I guess maybe she is still on the phone. Mushrooms. The other guy's still here. Oh, he's just the sorcerer is as evil as he is handsome. Be on your guard. There's money we forgot. Oh, 700 by itself. Sweet. Continue our adventure. Find the other pumpkin later. What is the point of the gate? If the bad things just crawl out of the ground inside the village. And so the false hunters proved their badassitude to the gatekeeper Torque, ignorant of the horrors that awaited them in the darkest forest. Darkened forest. Greeting, Emerald. New mission. I want you to blow up the ocean. Can you please get him out of our way? All right, fair enough. Okay, Mr. Torg, I banish you to the stocks. The stocks? Awesome! Anyway, I'm called Davlin the Gatekeeper. I shall open the way to the forest. You will not survive the horrors of the forest on your own. 
I shall meet you inside and serve as a guide. He sounds weird. We gotta go pick up all the side missions first. Just in case. We don't want to be doing side missions and not getting credit for them. That's a moxie, I think. A brain teaser for the. You see, Sir Reginald von Bartlesby, aristocrat and riddlemeister. If you can solve one of his brain teasers, you'll get a reward. Well met, adventurers. I have a riddle for you. I am everyone and no one. Everywhere, nowhere. What do you call me? Everybody roll your insight stat to see if you can solve that riddle. I shall repeat the riddle. I am everyone and no one. Every Rick, don't slam your dice onto the board. You broke Tina's figurine. Whoops. Uh, you won. Yay. In case you're wondering, the answer starts with a D and rhymes with shark man. What? So what was the answer to the riddle? I don't know. That okay. Dark man, dick man. I, I don't know. Wanna help me out? Never fight on an empty stomach. Here's a freebie for you. Times are tough, sugar. Ever since the sorcerer cast his Crumpocalypse spell, we've been running awful low on food. If you spot any crumpets, be a doll and grab them, would you? Wait, we can only bring the town crumpets? Tina, you know there are, like, other kinds of food, right? You haven't seriously been living on just crumpets for the last few years, have you? I do not understand the question. I like crumpets. Okay, let me pick the other one too, real quick. Thanks again for taking care of those numbskulls. I left a gun for you, kind of sort of nearby. Feel free to grab it, honey bear. Cool. Go find some crumpets. Or talk to Ellie. Hey, new quest. The best defense. I got a problem. I'm supposed to be guarding this here town, but I ain't got any armor. Could you head to the forest and find me something that'll protect all this beautiful girth? Yes, ma'am. Oh, of course. Get pumped! Men belong in the gym. All right. I got a sweet ass quest for you. First. Torg, why are you even playing? We all know you aren't actually interested in nerdy stuff, muscle boy. What? I can't like geek stuff just because I take care of my body? Discrimination! Can we get rid of this phony already? Ladies, ladies, I have an idea. Adventurers, you must find the three hidden questions of true geekiness. Torg, if you can answer my nerdy questions three, then a part of this game you shall be. All right, let me...
it's on the other side. Check that out in just a second. for a pumpkin. We still need to find a pumpkin. Little ones, it's the little ones. Black Widow Spider. Very unimaginative name. We saw one of those <laughs> earlier. Still alive. Good. Keep it that way. That's not a fair death. Holy sh! That was costly. Okay, is there a better way to get that one? Masochism. Failed your saving throw, huh? Do I really walk this?
Okay, this game doesn't actually have a balance mechanic, which makes that easy. Still. Ah. Have we killed anything, this thing yet? If you have not defeated a Seraph Guardian, we Seraph. have nothing to talk about. More stocks. Any more? What is a crumpet anyway? It is a griddle cake made from flour and yeast, traditionally eaten with butter. All I ever eat, son! Ever? Seriously? You should literally be dead. No, dog! I gotta live forever! Seriously? I have to go. Hold on. I'm gonna. It's right here. Let's see if there's a way for us to get over there. No idea how we're supposed to how we do it. Well, hello there. Oh, I just jumped in the boat. Guess that ain't gonna work. Are we docking or am I jumping? I have to jump. Okay. I'm not dead, but I'm dead. <sighs> Jump too soon. Now go show those orcs slash knights slash wizards what for. So it just travels around in a circle. Kind of dumb. In 
the Echo Show Space Journey in Space, what color shirt denoted that a crew member was likely to be eaten by Thread? Red! Correct! On to the next question, adventurers. Why are you testing me on this stuff again? Because you're a muscly guy. We gotta make sure you're not faking geekhood just because it's friendly. to this one. I'm gonna miss it this time. Oh, maybe not. Bumps up against that one. Not kill him? Melee him. Get him! Punch him! Got him twice. his broken blank sword correct on to the final question man you guys are being super exclusionary look when i was a kid boys mocked me for two reasons my tattoos and bunkers and badasses i suffered for my geekiness you don't get to invade my culture just because it's cool right now holy stack suck repressed anchor much This is what this is for. That's gonna blow up. Last question. In the 23rd episode of the 15th season of Blue Box Adventures, what is the name of the ship that abducts the Blue Box? I don't, uh, I don't know. Ooh, bad luck, Torg. Looks like you're not a real geek after all. Why? I'm just interested in sci-fi and fantasy and unicorns and Why can't I be part of your game? <laughs> oh. Wow, I, uh, I kind of feel like a dick. Me too. Torg, I, I'm sorry. I, you can totally join our game. You can give out side quests in town or something. No! You 
guys sure are the best. Where my mama didn't name me Mr. Dorg. Wait, your first name is Mr. Torg? What's your last name? Flexington! <laughs> Level 52 VHLFG. Bring a sniper rifle? I just re Quest time, hump a dub! A dangerous monster whom you should kill is hiding out nearby. End of quest briefing! Okay. Mortal Woods, Immortal Woods. There we go. That'll help a little bit. I'll anger and... That's the main quest. That's forest, forest, forest. This one we have to go back. From crumpets? I just looked at it, I would know how to say it. And now we have to go to all those places that I thought we weren't going to have to go to. Mr. Bony Pants guy. Again? <laughs> Why is Tina's crumpet up there? for this one over here real quick. Yeah.
stealing my kills. You can move. I have to stop thinking I'm okay because they're big and slow because that's like the fourth time I've said dang you're fast or where'd you come from to that house from up above and get Tina's crumpet. This one. <laughs> Tina, you're thirteen years old. Maybe you should consider eating something other than crumpets. Now I have to... food for lunch, you could... Oh God, what is that? It's a salad. Why is it green? It looks like the devil! Just calm down. It's staring at me. I guess we're going into the forest. Oh. Oh, we're not. Now, 
we're not. We're actually going to stop it there for the night. And we will pick up with going into the forest in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Good night. Okay, my hotkeys aren't working. <laughs>